Hey what's up guys welcome to another exciting design tutorial with UX mate but in this video we are going to see how to create scrolls using the actual scroll bars yes something similar to like this where you can you know use the scroll bars to scroll your content on the screen right so let's get started with the tutorial well before we get started with the video make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon if not go ahead and do it right now because if you are not doing it then you are definitely missing a lot of exciting design tips tricks and techniques and you know amazing design tutorial videos so yes let's let's jump into the video let's not waste much much time so what we have here is we have a display frame you know it is uh, for macbook air somewhere around 1280 by 830 or 832 you can use like any resolution and this can be you know work uh, this technique can be used on any of the devices doesn't matter so again like uh, i i also have a data grid here so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to you know there are a couple of ways to do this you can you know use the data grid directly up front and then you can create a multiple frames and then have the interactions but i would prefer a clean and you know better approach where we would be using auto layout interactive components nested variants and then we would be you know uh, having like clean design file great I have this table uh, created in an auto layout, so uh, it is nothing fancy. Like I have a header, and then I have you know rows. Uh, as you know, multiple rows as auto layout. You can see nothing fancy. I have just created some random you know data table just to save some time on the video. So what we are going to do here is uh, let's just you know, uh, and we also have a scroll bar, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to. Like first of all, let's make this as a fixed width because when we want to do scrolls, uh, definitely we have a fixed width, right? We cannot go beyond the width. So if we can go beyond the width or height, then it doesn't mean to, or it doesn't, you know, make sense to. Uh, like basically, if you can increase the width and height of your display, then it doesn't uh, make sense to have the scrolls. So let's just make this as a fixed width. You can put any width. Uh, as our you know test file is around 1280 pixels, so let's you know do somewhere around. Uh, 1200 maybe. Great. And what we'd be doing? We'd be having a clip here. So we'll not seeing you know the content which is. Uh, I'll just you know show you first and last columns just to make sure. Okay, you know uh, uh, what do we have? Like first we have username, and last we have role. So you will get an you know understanding if really this is working or not. So yes, let me just clip the content, and I guess that's all, right? No, okay. Uh, Let's select you know both of these elements and then have an auto layout and then we'd be having you know uh, auto layout in the vertical direction. Great. So let me just you know give it a name, data table or you know data grid. Let's have data grid, more fancy, and let's you know just make a component out of this. Okay. Let me create a component. great now we have a component and you know we can you know uh, bring this uh, instance of the component on our test frame let's just you know uh, okay uh, nothing is there to test let's let's now create a auto layout uh, or sorry uh, my bad let's just create a variant now so let me go to the properties create a variant great i'll add an auto layout to the variants so you know it is kind of a bit easy to work on and i'll put the direction as you know a uh, horizontal just to make sure that we understand what we are doing here so we have our first frame uh, i'll you know rename this property i'll say scroll and then i'll be having left as my first variant then i'll be adding more variants to this i'll be having center and then third one is right great i hope guys you have checked my other videos on you know auto layout and advanced auto layout if not go ahead and watch them because we have covered all about auto layouts and also all about you know components as well uh, in 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 one of the video i'll put the links in the description so you can go ahead and watch those videos if not yet i'll just adjust the spacing a little bit just to make sure like visually those are you know uh, distinguishable let's make it a bit crazy like around 50 pixels great 
so now what we have to do you know uh, we need to do couple of things uh, first thing is we'd be just adjusting this scroll bar so i'll change the auto layout as you know uh, left center and right aligned auto layout then what we'll be doing we'll be again going in the uh, variant and we'll be selecting our table auto layout frame and we'll be doing same thing we'll be having center aligned and then we'll be having a right aligned table great so now what we have to do we simply you know have to select this scroller or scroll bar you can say and then we'll be adding interaction so we'll be creating first interaction from the scroll bar to uh, the second variant and what we'll be doing we'll be doing on drag so we'll be using on drag and then we'll be having uh, change to scroll center and then we'll be having smart animate this is important guys you need to you know make sure that we are doing a smart animate here great let's maybe do ease out okay it's already ease out no worries and then now what we'll be doing uh, on the center frame we'll be selecting again the scroll bar but we'll be adding interactions on both sides right so i'll be having a left interaction first on drag i'll not give on click i'll be needing on drag change to scroll left and then we have smart animate with ease out again i'll be selecting this and i'll be having you know uh, interaction on other side uh, on 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 other hand i'll say on drag same thing will not do any changes here and then from the last frame you would be saying okay we need to go to the first frame no uh, we'll be doing it to the middle frame because the if you see the sequence let me just do it on drag great so if you see the sequence we'd be having this as our first frame okay then we'll be having this as our second frame and this as our third frame so when we uh, when we'll be doing you know scroll we'll be doing 1 2 3 3 2 1 we cannot do 1 2 3 or 3 2 2 uh, we can do that but then in that case we can get rid of this middle frame but i have added this just to you know give uh, control to the users like whoever is going to test our prototypes they will be having a little bit control that okay they can scroll this uh, this data table and then they can hold it in the middle and then they can go it at the extreme right okay so i guess we are ready with this let's just test this out and if you see our you know design file it has nothing but the variant of or sorry instance of this component so let's just test this out if it is working as expected it should be let's just see great so if you see i am clicking and dragging the scroll bar and i am able to scroll my content using interactive scroll bar right so you can do it on the like from left to middle or center and from center to extreme right again from right to center and center to left i hope guys uh, this is kind of interesting for you and you are enjoying this video if you are not subscribed yet do it now hit the bell icon put your comments in the comment box below stay tuned keep watching keep learning keep designing stay happy stay healthy